Welcome to my channel. I'm Intuitive Interest. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, North Node, or Ascendant and Descendant. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke on the bone to my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support by way of likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. I appreciate them all. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like my energy, you like my vibe, you like how I deliver the messages, please let me know. Bye. Liking the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting in the comment section. Personal messages are through the link in the description as well as donations. The angel donations there. And from time to time you'll have me use cards that I have created myself that is available on the, at my Etsy shop that's in the description as well. All right, so let's get to this. Uh, as far as the prosperity pot, um, that information is on the community tab uh, for you. So go to the community tab and scroll down and you'll see the information. Um, Thank you so much for uh, those who want to participate. Um, we will have a drawing. Uh, initially, it was supposed to be July 5th, but no one participated. I don't think I gave people enough time, so I'm putting it back out there for you all. Um, after the 5th uh, comes into play. So thank you so much for Participating and someone will be blessed or a couple of someone will be blessed from the drawing with a portion of the pot. All right. So we have move on. Someone is unavailable to you. So don't waste your time. Okay. It's over whatever it is that you thought that was there. But you do have the birth of uh, ideas, opportunities, possibilities, um, other love choices. So don't settle for less. Okay, you could have the initials of A or M, or that could be significant to you, all right? So don't give up on your dreams. They will come true, just maybe not with that individual. All right, so we're going to get into the reading. A little bit more energy here. Happy 4th of July, and happy birthday to you. Uh, my cancers, if you are a cancer somewhere in your chart, or this is your birth month. All right. Mm. So the first three cards out is the Prince of Swords. So we have someone who um, has intuition, but is still a little immature. When it comes to um, things, this is the princess and prince are uh, the pages in a traditional deck. And so um, we have immature energy around you that's possibly affecting your abundance. All right. This is uh, someone that you may feel is oppressive or you might feel oppressed at this time. That's affecting your abundance. Okay, abundance is more than money. It could be peace. It could be joy. We do have the death card, which is the end of the situation. This is Scorpio energy. You have some snakes among you that you may or may not know about. Hmm. We have uh, the universe. So we have God looking down on your situation. All right. You may need to make a decision regarding someone in your life or some people. Letting go of those people, places, and things that no longer serve you so you can go through your transformation. We have the sun. Something is going to be illuminated to you that is going to cause you to walk away from a situation. A 
situation that's playing heavily on your mind. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Um, I do have to let you know because I am shuffling a lot uh, during this. And I had somebody say, oh, they never heard so much shuffling. Well, the way I do it is I take jumpers. And I will shuffle until I get those jumpers. Because I do feel like if I just pick from the deck, I'm picking from my energy and not your energy. Um, I do believe you walking away from this person is going to cause you some sorrow with the Three of Swords, maybe some heartbreak. We do have the King of Cups, though. You have a lot of love to give or someone is coming in with a lot of love to give you. All right. In that cup that they're holding, this is Cancer Energy. So you could be a Scorpio with Cancer placements or Cancer with um, Scorpio placements. Okay. We do have completion, the completion of a cycle. Okay. All right. We have, what do we have? Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We do have victory coming. All right. We do have the night of this or the night of coins. This is abundance coming and may have been slow moving because this card is a methodical card. They plant, they grow, and they do reach their destination. Okay. So this could be someone coming into you or this could be you with your new opportunities coming. All right. And we do have power. So you have power um, of the most high God in your back. You have more um, power than you realize. Scorpio. Ooh. Yeah. We have some interference here. Someone trying to interfere in your energy or the entity attached to that person because it's not necessarily that person per se they're just allowing themselves to be used knowingly or unknowingly we do have something moving in quick for you all right um cancer energy strong cancer energy all right this could be that opportunity that's coming once you release those people places and things that no longer serve you all right. On the bottom of the deck, we have art. So you can be a uh, very artsy person. You could be in the arts. You could be um, an artist, musician. But I do see you moving to a higher spiritual level. Something's coming to shake you up spiritually. All right. So on this card, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to focus it in, um, in this uh left hand corner here it's a, a little baby so it's birthing um it's also um the death of certain situations all right we do have you manifesting with the magus card which is the magician card all right you could be someone who's very interested in science there could be a truth coming in for somebody who treated you very cruelly um, you could be someone who's very spiritual, a teacher, or you may have a teacher coming in that's going to give you opportunity and cause change to happen in your life. All right. This will be um, at the end of some type of disappointment, possibly with a queen of discs, uh, Capricorn energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be this Hierophant energy, which is also Taurus energy. But there are some secrets that have yet to be revealed and that's the truth all of that was from the bottom of the deck okay so um that is the message that i have for you okay hmm yeah we do have victory coming in um we have valor you could be a very honorable person uh someone who stands out from the crowd but you tend to worry a lot yeah i was i was led to read those final cards but thank you so much for joining me for this message if this message resonated with you let me know by liking this video commenting in the comment section and i will see you next time Bye bye